Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and the Ring of Fire is a rockin' and a rollin'. Here you can see the, some of the larger earthquakes for Papua New Guinea and Vanuatu. That was a magnitude 6.1. We also have, oh, let's see here, a 5.0, a 5.5, a 5.2 and a 4.1 and there's another one buried under all oh, several of them buried under there a 5.7 5.0 uh, 4.5 and a 4.7 this is a convergent area where we have a lot of micro plates and plates that are being crushed and um, subducting underneath uh, well we got the soft Bismarck plate. We got the Pacific plate up over here towards the northeast and the Australian plate slowly moving um, northeast also. Large earthquakes are very common in this area. There's probably been three of a magnitude 8.0 or larger. Two of them were uh, magnitudes 8.1 and I put in, I put in today many of the earthquakes that were um, a 7.0 here you can see an area of um, 8.1 and a 8.0 they called that a doublet where there was two earthquakes close to the same time back in 1971 the oldest earthquake that i could find was back in 1926 that was a, a 7.1 here's the location of today's earthquakes you yeah, know we got papua new guinea Many of these earthquakes caused landslides, uh, tsunamis, and a great loss of life. Up over here to the left, in 1998, there was a magnitude 7.0. Over 2,700 people died. 2018, another 7.5. Um, 160 people died. In 1993, I believe over 200 people were injured, 60 to 65 people died, and there was over a thousand landslides in that location because of that earthquake. That earthquake was probably caused by a fault that runs along uh, the New Britain Trench here, uh, Ramu Markham Fault. The majority of the earthquakes, the reason they're so deadly and so dangerous is because uh, most of them are thrust earthquakes. That's where one side of the fault zone stays stationary and because of the compression, um, the conversion in this area, um, the other side then drastically lifts up and creates the tsunamis. Yeah, let's bring this over here because in 1981, yeah, there's the doublet. I believe it was 2000 and well 14 there was another large tsunami that caused a lot of deaths I think that was farther down over here let's see the earliest earthquakes of uh, 7.0 or greater um, in 1926 there was a 7.1 and then let's see 1952 a 7.0 um 2007 8.1 thereby the solomon islands in 2013 an 8.0 uh, 1975 a 7.0 let's see that's as far down that i track for the different earthquakes but they usually have a very large earthquake um maybe two every year in this location this whole area is being pushed northeast but some areas such as the solomon sea microplate here it's actually subducting underneath the south bismarck plate at the same time when it's being pushed northeast makes you wonder how people can actually continue to live there with the mountainous terrains and the earthquakes, so many earthquakes all the time. 
large earthquakes and then the landslides. I mean, how you're probably going to be constantly rebuilding because of the earthquakes. So please like, share, and subscribe. What do you think about it all? Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're still subscribed. Always be prepared for a disaster, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.